We in Victoria heard lots of criticism of our state government over COVID hotel quarantine. However, there's been scant disapproval from the media over the many missteps from the federal government causing the late arrival of the COVID vaccine. Many countries are well ahead of us and we're now facing winter. My local Melbourne doctor is still waiting on supplies. Why not the same outrage about this disorganised response? Kim Rubenstein. Look, I think there's a, a general sense that we need some leadership here in terms of consistency of approach to looking after the entire community. I mean, the, um, the sort of quarantine framework is another aspect of this that hasn't been brought in, but in terms of the actual vaccination, that together with in, um, an enlarged quarantine framework would be opening up the economy even more. My, my last thought in relation to our discussion about, you know, where does this fit in the economy, the economy is linked into the health issues and ultimately we want the leadership to be coordinating the health issues with the economy because then the economists surely can predict and say mm. we need this stimulus for a certain number more of more months before we return to a, a more normal post-COVID reality. So they're all interlinked, in my view. Uh, Gareth, is the federal government over-promising and under-delivering already on the, on the vaccine rollout, do you think? The, well, the numbers say obviously yes, but it's very, very early days. Um, I, and I think the que to, to, the, to the question, uh, the reason there's not more outrage is because at the moment people aren't sick. We're in a fortunate position. No one's sick, no one's dying. So among ordinary people, I don't think there's this sort of clamour for the vaccine in a way there would have been if we had a pandemic raging. Um, but I do think it needs to happen. And I think we are, um, you know, thank goodness we've got some manufacturing capacity locally because we've already seen a bit of this uh, attempts from Europe to, to block the export of the vaccine to Australia. And I sort of understand why, because they've got a much bigger urgent problem right now than we do. Um, that said, if we want to get people moving again, and I think this is the hardest decision for the federal government, is how do they decide when and how to reopen the border? And, and to Kim's point just then, I actually think if you want to boost national productivity, you could do a lot worse than a massive investment in hotel quarantine nationally to allow many, many more, not just Australians come home, but other people to come here who've tested negative to COVID overseas. So we've got some confidence to get people coming and going again. So I think that's actually what you can do. Just on the vaccine rollout, I think the federal government could do well to spend a lot more time talking to the state health departments who are used to rolling out services. Yeah. Uh, and I think that will be the key, not just through the GPs, they're important, but get it through the state health departments and the hospitals as well. But it's not only the states, it's also the federal government. It has responsibility over quarantine. It has capacity over the territories. There are businesses out there that are calling to say they would work with government in setting up new quarantine facilities like Howard Springs in the Northern Territory. And if we're living in a world where the, the pandemic might erupt again, that is a real investment for the continued um, globalisation po positivity that we can get from travel. Zed, the truth is the, the rollout is slipping, isn't it? It is behind schedule. We're not getting the vaccines as promised. Well, the first thing I would say is uh, it is early days. We have well over a million uh, doses now in the country and very soon uh, we will be having our own manufacturing okay, capacity. Let's be honest here. Well, You're behind no, schedule. But, well, you said four you million behind? people will be vaccinated by just, the end of March. If, if I could will just, that happen? Well, if I could just finish, uh, we've got over a million doses uh, in the country already. Uh, we're about to ramp up our own capacity. Uh, and we, did, uh, we didn't go down the path of emergency approvals for various reasons, one of which is because we've had better control of the pandemic than many other countries. Uh, but as we get uh, that, that national sovereign capability rolling out, uh, which will be happening very soon, uh, you will see very, very quickly it ramp up. So, uh, you know, is it always perfect? No. Are there always, are there always Does challenges? Does getting, getting back on track? I mean, we used well, to well, get, get back to those original schedules of having most adults done by October. Well, that is, that is our intent. Uh, that is our intent, and if you look at the capacity that will be coming through CSL uh, to ramp up uh, millions and millions of doses, uh, that is our expectation, that is our intent. There are always challenges uh, in rolling these things out early. We've talked about uh, some of the challenges in, in some of the export restrictions that were imposed in Europe, but we've, we've, we haven't put all our eggs in one basket. We can manufacture, we're procuring from various sources, uh, and I think what you'll see over the next few weeks is, is that it'll start to roll out far more quickly. 
Okay. Hey, Michelle, I have to respond to that. I am sorry. Very briefly, please. Very Senator. briefly. Prime Minister said we'd be at the front of the queue. We're not. 74 countries were ahead of us. Prime Minister said 400 of us would be vaccinated. 4 million of us would be vaccinated by the end of the March. We've only got 3.9 million to go before the end of March. Okay. That sounds uh, like some talking well, points I've heard but before. No, no, so but let's move on. Let's get to some oh, other issues on. dominating today, the national today conversation. Today they confirmed. Senator Keneally, if I could just ask you to pause there, we're going to move on. Today they confirmed we would not hit the October deadline. Okay. Don't let him get away with that. <laughs>